right, guys, welcome back to the Joe Camo Show. Got a very special guest here, Ruben Gaima on the show, mindset coach, uh, physical, uh, I don't even want to say, what a physical god I want to say here. You look great, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm, on, I'm online. I'm trying to get the most interesting people that are that are physically able, the best sports athletes, the best of the best in nutrition. I come across your profile. I'm like, damn, man, like whatever he's doing, I got to find out what he's doing and I got to pick his brain and just dive in and also share that with, with the listeners and fans. I know I got a lot of fantasy football fans guys, get off the couch. We're going to get you off the couch today. we got a lot of questions. I want to hear more about you. I'm excited to dive into this conversation because I'm obsessed with learning from the best that, that do the best. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Yeah. That's phenomenal, man. Welcome to the show. Tell us about yourself, man. What, 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 what's the story? I mean, I, again, a lot of followers on Instagram, You've got, uh, you've got, I think you've got your own app. I, I'd like to hear it from you, man. Cause again, I want to learn from the best. That's why I'm here. <laughs> hey guys. So yeah, my story, my story is a very interesting one. Um, it started originally in West Africa. I was born in Liberia, uh, you know, during the civil war. So already being coming into the world, uh, my life has, was just, it was just, it just let me know that it was going to be a challenging one, you know? Um, I didn't have like all the luxury as you know other babies or uh, with family around and pictures and stuff. Literally, it was birth, and then we have to be on the road because there's like rebels come in, there's war, there's chaos, there's terror. So I that's always like built the mindset in me that you gotta you gotta be you gotta be um you gotta be great, you gotta be hungry out here because the world is a it's a it's a terrible place and it's gonna chew you up if you if you allow it to to do so, you know, so you got to be strong and you got to be smart. Um, so at that time, you know, grew up, I grew up in, in moving places in Liberia, in West Africa, from Liberia to Ghana, and then back to Liberia. And my family was lucky enough to migrate to the States where I grew up in Minnesota. And, you know, it was the same thing, just trying to figure out who I was and what I wanted to do with my life. And just adapting to the new culture, the culture shock was 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 uh, was like a big one for me because you know a lot of, uh, West Africa we're like more like aggressive. The culture is more aggressive. It's like a you know like a third world. So everybody's like a survivalist. Like everybody have the mentality where you got to go out there and, and get it. And and then coming to America, everything is just like chill and relax. Everybody's lazy and just. Yeah, well, not everybody, but majority of them are lazy, and I'm just looking at all of this like, what, what, what is going on? Like, you know, trying to adjust. I had to be, I had to tune down my personality because it was like offensive and too much. So I got into a lot of trouble. Needless to, that's the whole point as a as a kid, and I really couldn't find who I wanted to be until uh, at the age of 19, I joined the military, um, and that pretty much put my life into perspective. I joined as a combat engineer. Uh, I saw my first deployment at 20 years old, um, Afghanistan, and all that. This was like, wow, son, you gotta, you gotta really, really uh, um, figure out what life is. And the military pretty much put me on the right path to get my mind right. Because in, in inside the military, you couldn't just, you couldn't just be strong. You had to be strong, smart. You know, you have to be quick thinking. You have to be just well rounded, right? You couldn't just be one of good, good at one thing, right? To just be uh, all inclusive and just you know functional, which is what led me to fitness, really, and then um, got me deeper into functional fitness and understanding my body, my movement, my core, and then I just started training, like, and and start passing the mentality to people. I was also training soldiers and stuff. And that led me to, you know, where you see I am now. People just love the mentality, the energy, and the workouts. So, so it seemed like you had a fire in your belly when you arrived here. You, you saw a lot of mediocrity around around you. So you're like, okay, I, got, I need something else to kind of move me and keep me going. And that's when the military idea sparked in your brain. Like, I got to do something to keep moving. What was the thought to get into military? Was it just like, I don't want to settle for mediocrity. I just want to push myself. Is that the mentality? Yeah, part, part, uh, part, partially, but also it was just like, it was comfortable. Like the military, the, the concept of the military for me was comfortable because like I said, growing up in, 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 in Liberia, it was just, 
I was already used to that, just seeing chaos. So I'm like, one, I don't want to just settle and become, you know, get out of shape and just right. you know, like mediocrity and just let that consume me. I want to challenge. I've always been searching for challenges in my life. Like for some reason, I feel that whenever I'm at the, the lowest point in my life when I'm comfortable and that's just the mindset that has always been adapted in me. Like whenever I'm comfortable, everything is chill. Uh, I just, I, I freak out. I'm like, Hey, I need, I need, I need to be, I need to be on the move. I need to be searching for new horizons. So the military just made sense for me. Um, and then also I was like, what's the worst can happen? I literally was born in war. I was, I seen chaos. I seen all right. the, all the, 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 the negative side of humanity. So the most I could do with all the, you know, the, this energy and this drive that I have is, is put it to work for a cause, you know? And that's why the military just made so much sense in, at that time. And what are you doing right now? Obviously, motivator. Uh, you do motivate. Do you motivation? Do you do any talks right now? Mindset coach. Are you doing private coaching? I know you've got the app. Um, it just seems like you want to. I know a big motivator in this space is David Goggins, right? The it, channel your inner Goggins, right? He's one of the bigger guys out there. Are you kind of going with the David Goggins type approach? Because you've been in the military as well. We know he was in the military. Um, you know, physical fitness was you know kind of in line. Is that is that one of your online mentors? Are you in line with him? Are you a competitor with David? Is that is that the same type of approach you're doing? So I I mean I I haven't met him, and I wouldn't say he's like a competitor, but. He's definitely uh, somebody that I looked up to. One of his his book uh, can't hurt me. I read was it. One of, was was yeah, it was phenomenal in my development because uh, at that time I think I read it. Yeah, I read it when I was in Alaska, and I was just trying to figure out what the path is. But right now, I'm, what I'm doing is just training people, um, motivating people. I do I do uh, events at at, at, um, at gyms all across the countries. Uh, we have another uh, a major events in Atlanta, November 11th um, at the Rich and Fit uh, Club. We'll be hosting a, trainees, a day of training section, mindset training, physical training, all, all those other stuff. And then, um, as you said, I have my personal my personal um, training app that, you know, we got a lot of people in there that are really trans transforming their life, changing their, their, um, their day to day. And just trying to be my 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 end goal, regardless of where you know life takes me, is just to be as impactful and spread this message um, to as many people as I can. And it just so happens social media has really like taken off um, and resonated with it. I think we need more strong male role models in our in our lives these days. Everybody seems to be get offended by everything. Everybody's so you know butthurt over everything and. You know, even for myself and who does fantasy football, on, you know, on the side, I'm doing this as well. It's like I came into an industry I read can't hurt me. And I'm in this industry where I got a bunch of snowflakes giving advice and everybody's so cookie cutter. I come in with this energy, right? Uh, yeah. I think we just need more people. I mean, giving out that positive energy that you can be strong. You can do, uh, you know, what, you know, what you put your mind to. Cause like, everybody's just, I think just folding right now. Everyone's like, oh, I just, it's the easy route, right? It's like, give me the quick fix. Give me like, give me the hamburger. I got this, I got this craving. I want a hamburger. I want to just, you know, what, you know drug myself on TV or, you know, just watching like the same old, get into a series and just watch that series. Right. It's hard to, to get that, uh, you know, for a lot of people to get off the couch. That's a big thing. So that's what I want to talk to you about. It's kind of like taking action. Like what can we do? Like, let's start off with like, what can we do? Like I'm, I'm on the couch, I'm watching football. Do I watch football tonight or do I hit the gym? Even before the gym, it's just so easier to like, I come home from nine to five and I just want to sit home on the couch. What is something that I could do mentally to say, well, instead of just sitting at home and grabbing a beer after work, why don't I just hit the gym and work out today? Is there something I could trigger in my mind to say, don't do this, like conquer my inner bitch, basically? Is there something you do mentally to kind of focus on getting up? Well, yes, 100%. So here's the thing, right? You, you guys spend all this time watching and it, it, it's entertainment. We get it. But you got to understand that the, the people you're watching, they're living their dream life. For me, that's what pisses me off. It's like, right. why would I spend my life watching someone else achieve and live the best version of them? Like, what's the difference from that person on the TV to me? It's just the fact that they're putting more work and dedicated themselves to our, right. to our cause than I have, right? 
So the first thing you got to understand is one, you got to, you got to be, you got to have confidence in yourself. You got to, you got to love yourself enough to stop playing on the sideline and put yourself in the game. You know, not everybody can go to the, to the NFL, right? Not everybody can go to the NBA, but you can be that star in your family. So you got to first see yourself as that, right? When I come, when I look in the mirror every single morning, the first thing I tell myself is I am, I am him. I am, I am the champion. I can do whatever, any, every single thing I put my mind to, as long as I'm willing to dedicate myself, hyper-focus on it, I can do whatever, right? So the first step is just believing that you can and, and, and building that confidence that, that you, you got it in you. And, the crazy thing about it is everybody have it in you in them. They just haven't unlocked it or just haven't gotten to the point where they need to bring that out of them. So they choose the easy, they choose to sit on the couch instead of going and working out and looking like those guys on TV. And, and it just don't make no sense to me. I mean, I studied Tony Robbins back before I started doing my own thing, but he talks about pain and pleasure. We do everything to avoid pain and gain pleasure, right? So everybody's just, there's so much comfort there, right? Comfort food, comfort mm -hmm. TV, comfort beer, comfort weed, whatever it is, right? It's just, it's so comfortable, right? So it's like, why would I want to get in shape? Is I think what people say, oh, I'm, I'm over 40. Like, why would I care? So obviously there's so many benefits to working out. Why is it so important now more than ever to get in shape now? Even if you're 40, 50 years old, um, is there any type of study that you know that increases longevity of life with exercise? Because we really want to push those buttons with people to say working out is more important. Why is it so much more important to work out than just, you know, have a, a, a belly and stuff like that and just sit at home and be lazy? What are what are the real key benefits to, to drive home to people to say, get off the couch, let's do it? Well, Jess, I can't even like talk about how many studies that's, that that that's displayed um, increased muscle density prolongs your life. There's so many studies out there that that talks about it, right? But the the key the key factor is like as a man, right? As a man, you should have that self respect, right? You yeah. should have, you should you should you should love yourself enough. To, to, to want to go through life being your best self, right? You being the best version of who you are and who and what you're capable of. We there's so many wasted potential that yep. people just let die every single day. Like just talking about it infuriates me. Like of all you have this one life, right? Of all this the semen that could have been that <laughs> fertile into that that eggs, you yep. were the chosen one, right? You already won at the game of life, and you and and so many off. So it's so sad to see that people come in here and they just waste their, they waste their potential to sit and they, they choose the easy route. You live a challenging life, go against the grain, guys. Like it's more impactful. You can you can help more people in in your community when they see you going out there and 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 and. and and breaking against the 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 the, freak, the 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 chain that has breaking all those chains, all these barriers, and just building the body, building the life, building the building the, the influence that you want. Um, for me, I'll speak on my experience. The reason I live the life that I live, the reason I'm always seeking new challenges, it's just because growing up, we didn't have no mentors, right, that look like me. They didn't have no mentors that looked like me that 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 understood my the, the the mentality and the challenges that I've been through, right? So I wanted to be that that image. So the the kids that grew up in my neighborhood would not, and now it's crazy because they perceive me as that. They're reaching out to me because they're like, "Hey, man, if if this guy can come from the from from where we come from, from a third world country, grow up growing up in the hood." And I'm seeing him doing all the things that he's doing. What what steps is he taking? What is he doing to to be able to reach these heights, right? And it's just the mm -hmm. fact that I'm just going against the grain. I'm choosing a difficult life other than just you know just everything being easy. Um, I'm yeah, living regimented and and schedule, you, you know. Adversity really pushes you too. So I grew up in a blue collar life myself, right? Like my dad struggle this and that and i always at the time thought this is like okay 
it sucks. Like we don't have a lot of money or, you know, it's not the greatest or I, we can't buy that new car at the time. I thought it sucked, but b- because of that, I am who I am too. And it sounds like that you are a, a solid product of the adversity that you face. So again, going back to like, it's just so comfortable now. It's so easy. If the temperature is bad. I turn up the thermostat to get that optimal temperature in my room. Nobody <laughs> wants to push, right? I could just turn on Netflix and I've got an abundance of shows. I can go on Hulu. I got right. I got so many options. I can watch football and oh, hockey's back on and there's a UFC event, right? It's just, again, it's so easy. So I really want to push people out of their comfort zone, you know, and, and just get out and do things. We need that. We need to bring strong men back and keep them back and get that testosterone going a bit in a positive way. Of course, we're not going to go all gladiator, uh, brave heart style right on people. We just want people. Why to- not? Why not? <laughs> exactly. <That's true. laughs> Why not? We need, need that. Like, it's crazy. We're a dying breed, especially in the in the modern society now that we are in. We're we're really a dying breed. It's so it's crazy. Like I watch people face when when I'm walking down the street or even yeah. fitness is more than just picking up weight, right? Not even for the, the the health benefits, not the fact that it prolongs your life, but also the image that you portray, right? It, it carries on in so much more because everywhere I go, I stand out. When I'm right. when I'm walking, I have kids that are coming up to me. Hey, I want to be like you. I'm, you have inspired me. Just not even saying anything, not even knowing my story, not me, not even speaking to them, like talking to them. Yeah. It's just the fact that they see that dedication, they see that that commitment to a craft, right? And I think that's what a lot of guys are lacking. They don't have they don't have no no purpose. They, there's no reason. But the reason you should be looking for is for you, for yourself, like who do you want to be like do you want just want to go through life easy and the, the, at the end of your life the best thing you can say is i watched so many netflix shows i could quote all the fav- all my favorite netflix lines is it is that a really an accomplishment no not at or all you can go out there and say i built the life i built the image i built the finances the best thing that ever happened to me was adversity man being born um just looking cuz i have a little brother as well and he was born in the states and then me being born in Africa and the, the mindset different is, is, is astronomical. Like just, he feel like he, he walks through life with us, with a sense of entitlement. I go through life feeling like I got to earn every single dime, every single penny, everything that's given to me has to be earned just because I've seen, you know, the, the lowest of the low, I've seen what it means to not have nothing. And I've and I've seen what it mean, also takes to get up there, and that's 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 the challenge you got to be. I, I say every man need to push themselves towards that mentality, and get off the couch, um, just get active. It doesn't even have to be crazy. You don't have to build an insane physique, um, but you have to be taking progressive step forward to being the best version of yourself. And it's such a great time to be alive. You can pick up your phone. You can vlog about it. You can talk about your passion. Like whoever thought I would make a career out of a fantasy football, right? And that's I'm like I always go by the saying: if I can make fantasy reality, you can literally do anything. That's that's, that's kind right. of the mentality, right? Like I just talk about fake football, and I I made a living, and I'm one of the best doing it because I was perse- perseverance, right? Sticking with it, and just having that fire in the belly. Again, looking at you again when you look at your physique, right? You don't have to say a word. I could just tell consistency perseverance, hard work, mindset. I mean, you're a walking statement. Uh, one thing for sure is I, I would never, I don't try to force people to take actions into their fitness, right? If 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 the, their their pain is going to make them do it or is at least seek the action, yeah. seek the information that they need. But the, the, the once you get to that point, next step you need to do is you need to visualize, uh, you need to visualize who you want to be, right? Who you want to be? Who do you see yourself coming out of this? And you gotta once you can visualize that, then you gotta take the key characteristics out of that and and and, and write write all of this thing down. Cause I did it. That's what I did when I first decided I was gonna go into the gym. I found the I found the the perfect body uh, of who I wanted to look like, right? And at that time, it was um, he he was uh, what what was his name? He was. He, 
he was a he was a wrestler. I I, I can't remember his name, but yeah. he was a yeah he was a wrestler. And I took him and I I, I pretty much emulated every single steps that he took that he was who he was. Right. And I used that to build myself, right? To build into the body, at least as the end goal visualization for what I wanted to look like when I when I came out of this. So one, you gotta listen to your your listen to the to your to your mind, listen to the to what your your uh conscious is telling you. If it's telling you it's time for you to get off the couch, if it's telling you it's time for you to be active, you, you gotta listen to it because you know a lot of us we have that voice in our head and not a lot of people pay attention to it. Two, seek out the knowledge base, right? There are people, there's so much information on, on fitness and all of that. Find whoever you resonate with and follow their journey and follow their path. Um, because that's gonna bring you into it. And then you can use that knowledge to go into whatever else you want to go with. So I'm not yeah, I don't want to necessarily say, oh, you need to get my app. Um, because Right. A lot of people come in there and they don't have the right mindset. You got to have the right mindset to be associated with me and be around me 100 um, percent. So if you come in there, you don't have the right mindset that you're going to push yourself. You're going to dedicate yourself to this craft, because like you said, right. you, you, the reason you're succeeding in, in your craft is because you've committed and dedicated yourself to it. Right. That's the simplicity. It's so simple, guys. Like whatever the top one percent in every industry the only the one thing they all share is that dedication and commitment to just be relentless in their in in their in their endeavors and in their pursuit for that for that for that industry that's all it takes right so once you're there mentally now all you need is the information so find the next person you 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 like you like and you want to imitate and then and then and then and then follow follow their journey or or learn from them and that's it all right, let's talk about some practical stuff here. Um, just some misconceptions and some question marks. Uh, vegan versus meat. I just want again, you're you're a health expert. Again, you look the part. You know the part. You know. So a lot of talk about. Okay, I just want to be a vegan and just do that. And some people say, well, a lot of these animals in the jungle and, and in the forest or whatever, they just eat vegetables and they're strong, right? And then you got your meat eaters. They're like, oh, you just got to eat meat, right? Is it, should we have it again? This is a whole, I don't want to deep dive into all the science behind it, but in a nutshell, should we have a good balance or should we just be more meat? If we want to build muscle, right? Should we be more meat, more vegan or a good balance in your opinion? Cause I heard about alkalinity too. It should be alkaline, get your green drink in. Are green drinks good or should I just be all, all meat, right? I just want to get your thought on vegan versus meat. 100% you got to have a balanced diet, man. They both play an essential role, right? You can't just you can't just go off of one end and think that's gonna be substantial enough because there's a lot of nutrients that you, if you just go full vegan you're gonna be missing a lot of nutrients. Yeah, and no matter how much uh, uh, tofu you eat, you're not gonna get the same amount of protein as you if you're consuming actual meat from the from the actual source, right? And then if you go full carnivore, you're gonna be losing a lot of carbohydrates. You're gonna be losing a lot of energy. A lot, a lot of guys have said if it works for them, but honestly, if you're looking at it from a scientific point of view, it doesn't make sense. You need a balanced diet. Yeah. That's what we, our species have thrived on from the eons to now, right? And and all these nutrients are in different different uh, uh, sources for a reason, right? Um, and if you can see when, if you compare someone that's on a just a, a, a vegan diet and somebody that's on a carnival diet and then someone that's on a balanced diet. If you look at their physique, you look at how their shape, you look at their performance, the balance is going to thrive and achieve a lot more every single time than somebody that's just on both ends just because they're lacking so many other nutrients and micro uh, in, in those diets. There's a lot of deficiencies. Stay balanced. Right. There's just so much information out there and just so many people pushing one narrative or the other. I got to be yeah. meat eater. I got to be a vegan. I got to do this. I got to do that. And these meat eaters, I mean, there's probably some bad repercussions. If I ate meat and steak all day, I mean, that would be probably hard on my kidneys, wouldn't it? Like if I'm just not, if I'm not burning it, you got to work out, you got to get your oven hot enough to, to burn that. Correct. You can't just be eating steak all day and, and think you're okay. 100%. Right? And then you exactly. need fiber. Fiber is going to process all of these things too, you know? Yeah. Right. So if you're just consuming straight protein, you got, to, like you said, your digestive health, how are you breaking all of this stuff down? 
Where are you getting all the nutrients that you need to break all these things and convert it into the energy source and the protein source that you need, right? Likewise, if you're just eating straight vegetables and stuff, it just don't make no sense. Yeah. It just <laughs> have balance. Sense. Have okay. a balanced diet. You need you need a little bit of everything um, to really perform and, and achieve the best physical physique, as you guys can see. I'm going to use an alpha analogy here, but an eagle's eye view, not a bird's eye view. An eagle, strong, right? Eagle eye view on on things that are bad for you. Okay. I just want to get like your idea because there's so much is bad for you, right? I filter my water, reverse osmosis. I also mineralize it. I watch what I eat when I'm at the grocery store, right? But everything's bad for you. Like with my kids, I got two young kids. I make sure that they don't have, you know, like trick cereal, all these cereals that have all these like brilliant blue chemicals and stuff like that, right? So I'm seeing all these TikTokers now saying like, you can't even breathe air. Like air is bad for you. (laughs) You know, have you seen that, right? It's like, don't eat this, don't eat that, right? In a nutshell, for you when you're grocery shopping, what you know, I'm walking around with you, Ruben. What are we looking for at the grocery store? I, obviously, we don't want to live in a in a life of paranoia. I think our body. There's a saying somebody told me: if you don't filter it before it gets in your mouth, then your body's left filtering. You don't want you want to try to filter as much before it enters your mouth, food wise, right? So, what are we doing here? Where I'm at the grocery store with you. An overview for the average person when they're shopping. Are we are we looking for organic? We're looking at minimal ingredients. What are some advice and tips when we're at the grocery store? Because again, I don't want to live in fear. I don't want to live in, oh, if I eat that, I'm gonna die, right? Like sucralose, you got you got artificial sweeteners, you got preservatives, you got high sugar, you got so much. What do we do in a nutshell here when we're grocery shopping? Please. We go, we go organic, guys. We go, we go organic, we go natural. We try to keep it as 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 close to its chemical origin as possible, right? But um, so that that will include that will include your vegetables, your your protein source, you know. Um, and but don't let that you don't need to be too emphasized on the on the minor details, guys. Your body is gonna your body is designed to be adaptive in the in the process of that. As long as you're giving it a, a, a healthy, normal amount in quantity of whatever you're consuming, um, especially if it's organic, because you know not a lot of the the food industry is so messed up now, like organic meals is is so expensive for people. So not a lot of people can afford that. But again guys, just keep it close to its its chemical uh origin um as possible meaning like get 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 instead of getting the canned the canned fruits get the actual fruits right right instead of getting uh like cereal get some oat oatmeals something you know like you can make some oatmeals in the morning that's a lot more, that's going to be a lot more healthier than you take sticking uh cereal that's what i mean when i say get it close to its chemically origin but you don't have to just be so like paranoid going through all that stuff. Cause if you eat in moderation, your body is going to take care of, do, do the rest and take care of all of that stuff and push it out and put it to work. Right. That's what we're designed for. That's what it, we, we've been doing this whole time, but yes, organic, um, and get like the actual fruits, the actual foods and not the process and, and, and factory made stuff. And that'll get you right. That'll get you through throughout your day, give you enough energy and give you the, the the micronutrients you need to to build and be healthy. I want to talk about the importance of water too. Are you filtering your water? I'm not, I don't drink any tap water. I don't trust the fluoride. I don't trust the chlorine. I don't trust the pharmaceuticals in there. So I've got a reverse osmosis system. Are you really adamant about making sure your water is filtered? And what are you doing to filter your water if you do so? Honestly, I don't. I, I drink. I drink. I drink. I just drink water, man. Um, I think. Yeah, I I I don't filter the what well, I will say I buy I buy I buy um like the 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 bottled water from the from the stores right so I guess in a sense that's it but I'm not I don't fixate too much on 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 that so obviously stay hydrated you know sixty percent of your body is 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 liquid so you need to stay hydrated but those minor details man I think it just it just means to to keep selling more projects products and then just having people locked in all those um i just drink the water bro stay (laughs) hydrated (laughs) stay hydrated we we get so fixated on the minute details guys look 
Train hard, train healthy. I've been drinking bottled water for like my nine years of military career. And I was running, I was performing phenomenally, man. I used to run my two miles in freaking like like 12 minutes flat. <laughs> just drink water, just stay hydrated. I used to drink from the garden hose when I was a kid and there was no problem. And that thing tasted like rust. I'm there telling you, you straight up, like right. rust, metal, and water, like for years. And I'm and- fine. Again, if you do it in moderation, your body is if you taking if you're living a healthy, active lifestyle, a lot of these things that people are 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 letting distract them, right? It's, it's gonna be filtered out. Your body's gonna take care of that. The me goal here is get 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 the get up. I can't cuss, but get off the damn couch, go outside, <laughs> go run, like run. Action. Just take action. action. Don't folk don't fixate on these little things, all these, all these, they're all being sold to you to, to, you know, drink. I've been drinking the regular water my whole damn life. And matter of fact, I used to drink water straight out of a stream in Africa and I'm still here and kicking. <laughs> right, right. But you got a good immune system for sure. <laughs> there you go. Strengthen your immune system and, and get you right so that you can train your immune system now. Okay. So we covered a couple more, th- a couple more things I want to cover that are just, I think that are questions that like an average person would want to ask, right? Um, three tips. I don't know if there's three or four tips on how to, how to burn, uh, belly fat. Cause that's very common. I mean, I remember when I used to work my hydraulics job, I was a salesman before I got into podcasting my fantasy. I go to conventions and stuff. Even when I go to sports car to conventions, you look at the average dude and you're going to see a beer belly. You're going to see a belly there. If you're over 30, it was always this thing. When you hit 30, it was like, everyone's like the metabolism takes a dive, takes a crap. And then boom. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, obviously for me, I, I, again, I could give my advice. I think it's just cutting sugar, exercising, eating a balanced diet, but is there like three kind of like, you know, tips that you could advise people to take kind of an action on their, on their stomach to kind of burn that belly fat? 100% guys, listen, if you want to lose belly fat, it's, it's, it's just a, it's a numbers game, right? You got to be at a caloric deficit to the point where your body is going to start pulling all those excess calories, right? Stop eating like messed up food stop eating i could cuss on here yeah yeah go ahead i mean yeah it doesn't stop matter. eating bullshit <laughs> honestly just stop the bullshit eat clean right and then it, when you consume that make sure you're at a your body is actually putting all the, the the amount of calories that you're you're consuming to work the reason we our body wants to store the belly fat under the fat under our arms yeah and in our cheeks it's due to the fact that we have a surplus of calories that it doesn't know what to do with, right? So no amount of exercise that you do, right, like ab crunches and all of that shit is going to make your ass protrude through the fat if your body is at a surplus of calories. So no Big Mac Burger King run at 10 o'clock Let at night. Blow that shit out. <laughs> Get rid of it, right? Freaking doing the exercise is going gonna, is gonna to train the muscles. But if you're if you're ending the day every single day at a surplus of calories, all it's gonna keep doing is keep packing that on here. So your yeah. top three t- top three tips to burn belly fat. Number one, calories, right? Make sure calories. Yeah. Watch your calorie. calories. Calorie What's intake. What will, will be number two? Number two, uh, I would say get into car- cardio. Cardio is pretty good, right? It'll keep you lean. It's a full body exercise. Keep you lean. Um, and then Ruben, also- I'm so bored. I'm so bored on the treadmill. I get so bored, man. I can't do it. I got, I don't got time. I got to pick up the kids. Right. Oh, my work nine to five. I'm so tired after work. Right. That's, that's what you're going to get when, when you and, say and stuff. And you know like what that. I say to those people? What do you say? It's not important to you then. That's true. It's that's not. True. If it's important to you, you'll make time for it. You make time to go and, and watch TV. You make time to, right. to, to eat your favorite food. Scroll on TikTok. Time- Scroll on make, TikTok. Right. You make like think of yeah, you make time to go on TikTok. You make time to 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 reply to all those DMs. Make time to take care of your body, right? At the end of the day, your health should be the most important thing in your life. If you're dead, you can't go and pick up the kids. Right. That's if a good point. That's deep, right there. So find time. Go on, go so. Caloric intake. Watch your watch, watch your calories. Yep. Um, implement some kind of cardio into your regimen, and not only is it good physically, but it's good for your mind. Your mind as well. If you your card, cardio trains the lungs, the, the 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 heart, and then also you've heard of runners high, right? Yeah. 
So what happens when you conduct cardio is your your brain releases all the happy hormones like endorphin, no serotonin, uh, 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 all the other. There's other two that I can't remember. But dopamine, your brain, dopamine rush, dopamine. Yes, your brain hits you. So no matter if you're going through some some stuff, you got a lot on your mind. You go and run. Your brain literally gives you a kick and like, hey, I like this, this activity. Do it again. That's why you you see all a lot of runners they get running high. They feel so good and they love going to do that, right? So implement some kind of cardio into your into your regimen, and and then keep it challenging by you know not only focusing on the treadmill, go outside. Yeah. Like, why do we? A lot of people it's avoid. Cold outside. I don't want. It's raining today. You right? need those. <laughs> you need those challenges. You need those. You, you, you need those because then it, it keeps it keeps your body constantly adapting. The reason a lot of people get so overweight, over fat is because they're not challenged enough to, to to adapt throughout their daily life. Everything is so complacent and still the same that they're just their body just have no means to overcome anything. So we got sorry, got car, uh, the calorie, the cardio was the third one then. Correct. Sorry, the third, the third, the third tip to to burn. Oh, so yeah. Calories, cardio is number two. And then for number three, to lose belly fat. Honestly, those two is going to get you everything you need, man. But let me see. What belly would I say? How about just strengthening and toning, right? You wanna... Yeah, strength training, resistant training. You know, the exercises. Uh, for me, I have one of my favorite exercises uh, where uh, I, it's, it uses the, the pull-up bar and it's, it's, it's weight resistance. And I do... Um, knee raises and and side crunches stuff like that off the pull-up bar it's challenging not only for your upper body but but your mid-session as well too but really to be to just to be exact with you guys one just it's you just need you don't need three four you just need two your caloric intake right watch your calories be at a caloric deficit Train your body to actually use the amount of calories that is consuming throughout the day so you're not left with a surplus, right? And then implement some kind of um, cardiovascular exercise into your regimen, and that will get you the abs of steel. One one problem I have, and I, maybe you can help people with this too, I have a sugar craving. So after every meal, I tend to go to the cupboard and I get a cookie after. Is there? I heard that scientifically, if you take a, a teaspoon of coconut oil, it gets rid of that craving. Do you know anything about that? Do you know how, how we can fight? I mean, other than mentally just stop doing it. Is there any other way, way to fight those sugar cravings? Or even I got a craving for a Big Mac or something like that, right? Again, these guys have signed, there was a book called uh, sugar, fat, uh, fat, sugar, salt, or something like that. We're mm -hmm. talking about how these guys engineer the perfect taste on your palate where you have a burger and fries. And it just like, after I have fries, I feel like I want to sip it with some Sprite. Right. So yeah. is there any way to kind of fight those sugar cravings or those cravings where I want a Big Mac or a burger? What do I do to fight that? I say you have to, uh, just replace it, replace it with natural, healthier, um, options. Um, so get, get into like your fruits. There are a lot of tasty, sweet fruits. And the best thing about those fruits is it comes with like the natural fiber that you need to break it, to break all of it down as well. So if you must have some sweets, replace the, you know, the, the cookies and the ice cream with some natural fruits. Ruben, life is too short. I want my ice cream, right? Again, it's the same type of mentality. Yeah, a lot shorter. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Over get really short. So, you, hey, listen, like, I try to keep everything as simple as possible, you know? I don't like to complicate stuff. Just put the cookies down and grab some apple. Arnold Man, and Arnold I, said it best in a, in a Christmas movie I watch every year. The jingle all the way. Put the cookie down, right? Oh, now. yeah. <laughs> put the cookie down. That's so Leave true. Leave the cookie to <laughs> <laughs> but again, yeah, it's like uh, you've. I think you've overcome like all the objections, and you've seen all the internet trolls, and you probably you can probably get a lot of haters, right? I mean, they oh look my at you, gosh. They look at. Let's put it this way: they look at me, and they're like, "Screw you!" Because there's a lot of people are just jealous because I'm doing what I love, and and yeah. I'm no different from 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 anybody. I'm just a guy that just talks fantasy. I've just been able to build a platform, and I've had my adversities. There's times where my po learning how to edit. I wanted to throw this mic across the room because you got to learn things. My my program shut 
shuts down. Like things happen, man. It's not like easy. You're, not, you're just seeing the product that's finished. So they're seeing you. They're seeing this amazing physical specimen. Like what a man. Like I could never do that. And they're gonna they're gonna come on hate and they'll say, oh, he does this. He does that. He takes a needle here and there. He's 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 juicing. He's he's cheating. He's doing that. Like how do you deal with the trolls and do you get it a lot? So one, oh, I get yeah, I get it. Every single day I make a post there, somebody in there talking about how I'm like juicing, I'm on trend. And you know, you just gotta accept them for who they are, right? It, it's sad to to the point to that people um don't believe in themselves to the to I think anybody, I think everybody can achieve this. Right. I think any everybody can like the recipe for success is is it's not complicated. Everyone can be successful in their craft. The, the reason you're successful in the podcast er, uh, industry is because you've dedicated yourself. Again, we we'll keep going back to this commitment, dedication, and, and, and hyper focus. The reason my physique is the way it is is because I've dedicated myself to this, and I'm hyper focused on it. I eat the right thing. I make the right sacrifices every single day to achieve this. So when people, you know, that don't have that drive, don't have that commitment, and they see me and they're like instantly correlated to uh drugs that's a reflection of them that has nothing to do with me right so i allow i, I allow it i don't i they can post all they want to do it, but if 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 i know what i'm doing what i'm capable of and i know they're wrong it's not it doesn't affect me at all and when they're ready you know they can come and then i'll be like yo come on over man let me show you how you can achieve this physique without sticking the needle up your arm because i'm i don't knock like steroids because i have some buddies that are professional bodybuilders and they have they use it because they're professional that's what they're doing right. so i'm not gonna knock it but i stand against it because um well it's 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 not it's a it's not a necessity why would you want to induce you throw your whole body off by by doing that it's not healthy you look good outside but inside you're deteriorating right and my whole thing is just holistic health, being healthy naturally and, and organically, right? But um, again, I'm not gonna knock it because it's it. My some of my friends use it, and they're open about it, and they don't lie about it. Um, but also for those guys, the average people that think you have to be on steroids to achieve this, it's no, you don't. You just gotta. You, it just gotta be important to important enough to you to want to achieve it, right? I wanted to get you on just to, again, pick your brain and give this to people to help change. If you could change one person's life for the better, I want you guys to take action. And I want to, you know, hear from one of the best people in the industry doing it right now. And that, you know, and I saw, again, I came across your profile. I thought it was just fascinating that, you know, that you've done what you've done, achieve what you've achieved. And, you know, we want to change people's lives and help them be better. You know, that's all we want. We want people to be men to be stronger, even females, 100%. right? Get out there. And be just be better. And again, the, the laziness I see, like, you know, with everything that happened, I don't even want to bring up the, the terms in regards to the algorithm here, but with, with the, with, with what happened with everybody getting sick with the, with the vid, right. It's yeah. like everybody just like, Hey, take, take a jab and call it a day. And, you know, and then if you get a jab, you get, you get a, an ice cream, you get a burger, you get all this yeah. stuff. How about, how about go out and exercise and get some vitamin D and be healthy? And I saw people like Joe Rogan talking about it and all these guys, but there was a lot of people just going with the narrative and stay home and they just stay home. And it's like, no, get out, do stuff, get the immune system going. Right. It's, it's amazing. It's just the mainstream wants to keep us down, you know? And, and every time I see that, I go against the grain. I want to, I want to, when they say do something, they zig, I zag. I, I just go yeah. the other way. And, and I, I hope you got, you have the same mindset too. I just, just getting out there and health, obviously. I say question everything guys, question everything and come yep. up, come to your own conclusion for whatever you're seeing, right? Don't never be the type of person, Laura, but, uh, blind loyalty is the worst thing you can you can have in your life, because um, you don't know why you're mo you're why you why you're going. You don't know where you're going. You're just following for no reason, just because you've been told. That's one. We're not gonna go too deep into it, but that's one of the reasons why I actually was like, okay, it's time for me to get out the military as well too, because there's so many uh, agenda. You gotta you gotta you gotta be uh, you gotta be mindful and intentional in your life and know what you're what you're going and where your goals are right but yeah guys at the end of the day the whole purpose here is just to help you guys 
be better, achieve yourself, man, and and and, and live an impactful life. There, there, there's so a lot of guys are just going through life with no purpose, and they're dealing like depression and all these other mental 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 health problems that it's on the rise, and it's because of that. It's because you guys are not taking uh, physical activity level seriously. You're sitting down and you're not putting no challenges. The brain, the mind is not going to wonder and 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 feel and deteriorate if you're actively challenging yourself. The brain was designed to solve problems. That's literally what it was for, what it is for, right? It's designed to solve problems. So if you don't have no problem, no challenges and no obstacles, and you're just going through a mediocre life that's complacent and repetitive and predictable, I, that's when all these other health issues and and mental issues is going to start coming up. And as you can see in our community, in our in our society, we're being bombarded with it now. Like it just don't make it. It literally just don't make sense to me, man. Like, and instead of people going outside to just be active and be in their reality, they just take up pills and numb everything up, and then and then stay in the same problems or turn to the alcohol and and drink their heart off and then still stagnant in the same problem because all it, all those all those substances do, does is just blur your blur your eyes to the problems that you're in you know it doesn't solve it you're still in there do you what drink you alcohol doing? at all at all for occasion uh, I would say occasional like it has to be a major event um Family wedding, something like crazy like that. Yeah, something yeah. something big, like in order for me. And the most I'll do is just um is you know, like I drink like the six the girls' drinks. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah. Um, uh pina colada or something yeah, like that. Yes, stuff like that, right? Um, but alcohol for me is just I just I really don't see the the point in it, man. Like there's no point at all in it. Depletes uh, it muscle tissue, right? Depletes muscle tissue too. Oh my God! Don't get me started. It, 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 it <laughs> yeah. Apart from that, it, it's just also for me. I just want to. I want to be awake in my life. I want to be. I want to. All my decisions has to be logical and from me, not, uh, um, not due to other. You know, to a, influences. A, a, yeah, a influence. Right. So I can't. I can't do the alcohol. One of the things I used to tell myself when I was still in the military is like, oh, I'm gonna smoke so much weed when I get when I get out. I've been out for uh, uh, over six months now, and I still haven't done it because I'm just like, what is the point of doing this? Like, it's just, it just it serves no purpose to my development and my goals in life, you know. And I feel like, in my opinion, the people who are turning to those uh, substance are people who are just trying to to like to numb their life and numb themselves. But the, the the sad part about it is, if they were to just be intentional and wake up and actually start taking actions towards whatever they're going through and dealing with, they will solve that problem and they will fix it, and their life will get better. <laughs> One more thing I want to talk about before we go here, and I appreciate everything and the knowledge you've brought to the show, but um, not breaking out of nine to five, I really want to talk about that here because I think that relates to, to working out because again, I've got family members that have come out and said, Hey man, I work nine to five. I have a relatively physical job. I come home. I can't work out. I'm already physically exhausted. Right. And again, a big part of that is diet. A big part of that is not working out in the first place because you're not physically as strong to be able to handle your nine to five physical day job. So again, it all correlates. But again, breaking out of the nine to five, it's hard. They say it's hard. Again, what's your advice on break? I can give you my advice on how to break out of nine to five. It's totally like building the side hustle, sticking with it. But what's your yeah. advice on helping people break out of nine to five? And also to those people that are in the nine to five, and I'm just using nine to five as an example. Some people work seven to three, 11, night shift, whatever, work in a factory. People, those people that are working those shifts, how do they schedule a workout? Again, are we going back to mindset to overcome that? How do we break out of the nine to five? You're an entrepreneur. You know how to do that from mindset. And also, how do you work out if you're working 12-hour shifts even? Okay, question number one. How do you break out of the nine to five? Well, you have to set up a plan. Don't quit your job right now, especially if you have responsibilities and you don't have, you don't even know where to, where you, where you're going to be, what you're going to be doing, where you're going to be going. Set up a, set up a plan. Keep your, day, keep your day job. Set up a plan. Find a, a high value skill that you, you want to perfect 
right? And build that on the side as you're, as you're, as you're, because that's what I did. So in order for me to break out of the break out of the military and not need it financially anymore, what I did was I started my training program, I started my coaching program, I started uh, investing in real estate with the income I was having coming in from my current from the from the military to the point where I had enough resources to replace the current one that I was in. And it will give me the foundation that I needed to go and pretty much take high risk as we are doing in the entrepreneurial space. So once I had that coming in, then I was able to break out and go and start experimenting with social media, trying to figure out what my voice and what my place was and and, and launching brands and stuff like that. Right. It you really got a leap. You really got to leap. And so many people don't want to do that because there's that fear, right? Like if I leap, what if I can't pay my mortgage? But exactly the same way with me is like, you have to, you know, you hold on to this job just enough to, before you let go, you're building this side hustle. The problem is the people that are building this side, side hustle, maybe not pushing as hard as they could. Yeah. Another thing, maybe I don't know if you said it or not, but it has to be something you're extremely passionate about because if you're 100%. building it and if you're not passionate about it, you're just not going to do it. You're just, you're just going to be like, you're going to default back to the nine to five and fall back. And this is something I get asked all the time. It's like, how do I do it? Well, Joe, it's not easy. It's not easy. No, building a fantasy football account wasn't easy. Taking your body to the absolute limits and building the chiseled body that you have is not easy, right? It's just not easy. But, you, but, but the results, once you have it and you're there and you're on the other side, yeah, it's ultimate phenomenal and, and so rewarding. Again, it's that, it's that short-term pain for the long-term gain, I guess, right? 100%. And that's that's what I tell everybody. Like, It's not going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. But in a sense, you will. It, it's actually, now that I think about it, I, I felt more fulfilled taking that leap than, than I was ever doing my, 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 yeah. my, my nine to five. Right. Because you put yourself on the, you put yourself on the wall and you you really just got to believe and trust yourself. Like, hey, I'm going to figure out, out whatever it takes. I'm going to I'm going to figure it out. And and there's so many other skills that come out of the out of doing so that you're going to build, you're going to develop, whether it's your fitness, your fitness. And 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 I think most most of in a, a lot, a lot of the time, why this come easy to a lot of people who are already in shape and it's just because in doing so in, in putting yourself building your, your 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 physical health you have to develop all these all these skills like time management um schedule discipline that correlates so much more into the entrepreneurial space as well too so all over again guys getting shape is going to help you in every other aspect of your life um and then your second what was your second question um it's how like do people yeah, the first one was like how to break out nine to five. The second one, you're in the nine, you're in the nine to five, and you know you're tired. You come home, you're tired. Uh, you know, I get this again. I have family members, won't say who. I have family members that you know. Say, I, it's the same discussion. Like, why aren't you working on your basement? Oh, I'm tired. You know, I'm out. I'm doing my my physical day job all day. Mm -hmm. Any advice to them? But they come up. Well, I already have a physical. I'm a bricklayer. What do I need to come home and work out for? You know, leave me alone. I just want to have a beer. I want. Again, I, I've I've been sounding like the average person. Again, no offense to the average person. Whatever. Get over yourself. But what I'm saying is like I've been sounding like the the, the typical person that, that 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 avoids these people. I've been giving you these objections. I don't know if you've noticed throughout the show. I've been saying, well, you want to run outside. I'm like, no, it's too cold. And that's some of the stuff that I struggle with too, right? Like sometimes that's my inner bitch voice too. So the guy that works or the girl that works nine to five, that's already tired and it just doesn't thinks that their job is just good enough, even though they're out of shape. So you, it comes to your schedule. You gotta, you gotta plan your, your schedule accordingly. If you know you're going to be tired after your, after your, your, your nine to five job, go before Get up early. Nah, I'm too I tired. I get, I've, I've had this day, conversation. They're too tired. I can't get up. You know, that's a thing. That 100%. Be too tired and you're going to stay too tired, right? You're going to have to accept. You're going to have to sacrifice. You got to sacrifice the person that you are now to build the person that you want to be. There's no way you can have both. Let me break down a family member's schedule. He starts at uh, 730 in the morning, done at 5. Okay? Give schedule, okay? 
I said, well, why don't you get up at five five thirty? No, no, seven. Is like I'm already up at six thirty. So that's it is pretty early. I hate getting up early, right? He's back at five. Then he's got to go, let's say, grocery shop. Then he's got to spend time with the kids. So I suggested, why don't you work out at ten? Oh no, at ten, I'm done. I'm done at 10 p.m. I'm tapped out. Then I got to get up at 6.30 in the morning. So this guy, my family member, always makes the same excuse. It's too early. And again, it's I guess it's not important. Enough. It's just, It comes down to it's just not important. 100%. Enough. It's, not important to, it's not important enough to him. Um, and that's he's feeling himself and he's feeling his kids. Because think about, think about how impactful it is going to be. Uh, and I'm just assuming here that like, this person is out of shape. Yeah. Big time. How, how impactful yeah. do you think it is? He, yeah. It's going to be if his kids, that uh, their kids get to watch them transform their body and, and, and live a more healthier life. Yeah. Think about the the generational effect that it's going to have on those kids and their kids and their kids' kids. Right? Yeah. So it, it, it boils down to how important is it? Because I guarantee, no matter how hard his work schedule is, he's finding time to, to do something fun, right? Yep. So he got something got to sacrifice. The current person <laughs> that he is now have to die in order for the new person to be born and be created. You cannot have both. And I tell my clients this at all the time when they come to me, I'm like, are you ready to die? And they're like, what? What are you talking about? Are you ready to die? What does that mean? You right now, the person you are right now has to die for the person you want to create to be born. You cannot have both. If it's if if going to the if fitness is is tired, fine. There are means to make it enjoyable. You have if you have kids, go on a run with your kids or go on a walk with your kids. Take your yep. dogs out. Go running with your dogs. That's that's a physical activity right there, and that, and then also you're spending time with them and you're showing them to to be dedicated to themselves and to take their their body serious. Yeah, I, and I was just picking on this family member. I'm using an example, but I think a lot of people can relate. And I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to be hard on you know this particular person, but I'm just saying, like, again, I think a lot of people relate to that. But one thing we all have in common is that we all have 24 hours a day. We may not have the same equal opportunity. We may not live in the same area. We may not have the same financial structure or background. Yeah. But one thing we all have that's the same and infinite is, is, is 24 hours in a day. It's what you do with it, right? It's literally what you do with it. I guarantee he. If we if we really sat down. And me and him go through his whole schedule. I 100% guarantee yeah. we'll put money on that. He has an hour. For sure. <laughs> that and he it, can go and work out. And it defaults to comfort. Like, well, I'm, yes. I'd rather just sit. It's just so, lazy. But what I found, and maybe you can agree with this before we wrap this up, is I found momentum is a huge thing, right? Like for me, I started working out now about two years ago. But I, I do it where like four times. I'm always doing it every day. I have this set schedule between like one to three. I'm always working out. Like that's kind of my workout. I always fit it in there. And if I don't, I feel guilty. I got to get it in. I got to get it in. But it's it's that initial like, you know, first three months of getting into that rhythm. And a yes. couple of years ago, I didn't like the way I looked. I was about 15 pounds overweight. I was starting to get some fat around here. My stomach was was not looking as, I'm not, I'm not in chiseled shape now, but I was in much worse shape two years ago. And I got into yeah. this workout routine and it becomes addictive. But do you find momentum is a huge factor for sure, right? Yeah, momentum and then community. Those are the two yeah. things I'll say the most. So if you're first starting into your journey and it's hard for you, right? You got to What I highly recommend is you go and you find a community group of people that you guys can do it together with, or or or, or use your family members. Set set up a challenge and be like, yo, let's hold each other accountable. But the fact that when you build that community and it, it becomes the it becomes the norm in that community, it's easier for you to transition those into your into your daily living, into your normal life. So in in, in your family member instinct, have him set up a challenge for his family or, or or reach out to the boys like, yo, guys, let's do a challenge on who can lose the most at the most weight in three months. And that depends on who your boys are. Some of my boys, well, no way, man. Are you nuts? I'm not, you know what I mean? It's kind of hard, but yeah, definitely a community helps, but sometimes it's hard too. Right. But so, so then what, what you need to do if you're, not if it's not the norm in your, in your, in your normal community, go find new one. Cause again, yeah. there are, there are like, if you, if you call me like, Hey, let's do it. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's do it, bro. Let's go. Right. If that's not the norm in your, in your group, go to, go to a different environment where that is the norm. You don't have to drop those friends. I, me personally, I'll say drop them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, but if you go, let's say, for instance, you go to the gym 
and you just start having conversation with people, you're going to make one or two friends there, right? And and then, you know, hey, guys, I'm doing this challenge. I want to lose some weight. I want to, and I want to make fitness a habit. Uh, can we hold each other accountable? I guarantee if they're already in the gym, that's their mindset. So now you're adapting the characteristic of right. someone who is actively in the gym. And now you're building a community. So it's, it's just making it a little bit easier for you to make this transformation. That's amazing. Well, Ruben, how, do, how does everybody find you? What's uh, what's your social? I mean, I've got your, is it at Apex? How do you pronounce it? Apex? You, un? It's Apex. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only person that does that. <laughs> Apex. Un. Yeah. So it, uh, I'm on all platforms. Uh, Apex on A P E X U N N underscore. All right, uh, everybody, make sure I'm, I'll put the links down below anyway, and uh, it's been on the screen anyway the whole time. But uh, but yeah, I'll be I'll be sharing quite a few reels on this, and uh, get, get hopefully this helps some people. You know, guys, take action. You know, um, you don't have to necessarily look like Ruben. It would be nice, right? But uh, by the well, way, life get easier when you look like this too, man. I'm telling you. By the way, let's be fully transparent, okay? How many hours a week in the gym? Let's straight up. Like, what do I got to do? Honestly, yes. <laughs> An hour, bro. An hour to an hour and thirty. Dude, I'm, I'm an hour a week. I'm, I'm doing the wrong things, man. But I hit the bag. I don't. I don't. I don't push as hard. I don't have heavy weights here. I don't. You know what I mean? I got some light weights and stuff like that. So I don't push as hard. I guess it's like, are you? You're constantly leveling up the weights. Obviously, increasing yeah. resistance and yeah, you're, you and you're going hard the whole time. Bro. You need resistance training, and you need to increase the weight. You need progressive overload, bro. Um, especially if you're trying to build muscle, if you're trying to build muscle, you got to have that, uh, progressive, like where it's constantly challenging the muscle. Cause you don't create the tears. You don't rip it up. I'm if not. If the weights are, if the weights are, are the same, again, it boils down to your body having to adapt. The reason my body is shaped the way it is, is cause I put a lot of challenges in front of it for it. And it had to adapt to those new challenges. Right. And that's just what it is. You need more, you need, you need to, you need to slowly increase, increment the weights and you need to do some static holds and, and just, just build that over time. So you're getting stronger, but also you're building the muscle and building the physique that you want. And you don't need more than an hour or an hour and 30. Honestly, you don't. If you go in there with a plan and you know exactly what you're working on, yeah. all you need is an hour. And you just go and knock it out. The reason people be thinking it takes so long is because 99.9% .9 of the time, and I'm guilty of this too, they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, yeah. they're taking selfies instead of just doing the bicep curls and getting out. <laughs> so now you add in 30, 40 minutes to your workout, that's really supposed to just be an hour. You see the over over overweight dude at the gym again. It's, it's good that he's at the gym, but he's out there trying to hit on the next girl or something. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm just like go go like hey, come on man. Like you you're supposed to be working on yourself right now. You trying to work on getting some play. Yeah. And then they, and then them girls are looking at and that's the worst thing you can do too cuz if you you in the gym and they they're looking around like all oh, these other options and you're like but you know, at, le at least he's in there. I say oh, he's a winner. Yes. Because he's in there and then if he's talking to girls in the gym, that means he got good confidence and that's another <laughs> <laughs> that's another thing right there oh yeah I, I can never you can never talk bad about anybody in the gym because they're making the effort right yeah. I mean, even though they're half-assing it half the time some of them but it's just they're making the effort you know that's that's the main thing so that's i appreciate you ruby man it was a pleasure talking to you we'll get you on as this podcast continues to grow uh you're my second guest on this revamp um I can't, I can't wait to dive into more conversations with, with amazing people that are doing amazing things. And, um, yeah, it, it was an absolute pleasure guys. Make sure you guys go follow them and, uh, and your program will, we'll link it below too. Um, how do you, what, what's your program here? Do I get it, get the app or what do I got to do? So it's apex net coaching program. Yes. It's an app. Um, it comes with pretty much everything you need to transform your body. You're going to have me, uh, as your coach, as a one-on-one -on -one coach, you're going to have my community of, you know, every, people on the same journey as you going through the same thing to share your wins, your, your, your challenges with. You're going to have a meal plan specific to you and your goals. Some people want to gain. I have a, like a lot of athletes that want to like 
like they're already in shape, but they want to get, you know, they want to achieve my physique. So I have people that want to gain weight and then I have people that want to lose weight. So it's going to be tailored to, you know, whatever, whatever your goals are, um, whether that's gaining. I'll, weight. I'll join as long as there's chocolate and Big Macs in your, in your meal plan. <laughs> the crazy thing is, no Big Mac, but chocolate is not bad. You can have that's chocolate. Wow. Semi sweet, yeah. right? Like I think yeah. the, the, what's it called? The, the one that's bitter. I have a little bit of that bitter chocolate, right? Yeah, the darker dark chocolate. chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. Is it is it good for you, dark chocolate? Oh, uh, there's studies that says it's, it's really good for your heart. Me personally, uh, I actually have a sweet tooth, man. I'm not gonna lie, be okay. like I'll be real. I it's eat good. uh, what what's the thing called? Um, the Tootsie Rolls. You know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my thing. That's a song but, too. Was that a song? I played get my Tootsie Roll. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, like, and you can still maintain your physique. It's just a, a, you know, we're gonna go back into it again. But you, you don't have to, you don't have to make your diet like hell, guys. You can have a a, a moderate, balanced diet and still eat, you know, like sweet foods here and there, just in moderation. And you'll still build muscles. You'll still be good, and your body will still break it down and get rid of all the junks. It's just that we everybody just like consumes so much more than what they need now, man. Like it's insane. But yes, you can have you can have desserts, um, and still be healthy, guys. You can, you really can. How did I forget to cover one more thing? Because this could be a video on its own that I want to get out. I, I keep saying one more thing: fasting, fast to not to fast. So when do you fast? When's the best time to fast? This is, this is very important because no, everyone's got it wrong. So some I just heard someone online saying fast in the morning because you want to miss that breakfast and then have have a light lunch, heavy dinner. Then I've also heard fast at night like should you fast when do you fast can we just hack and solve this fasting thing with food and is it good for you i think everybody should fast i think it's good fasting for me it's 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 a mental and a physical thing right one remember i was speaking on how to get your body out of caloric deficit yep. right and that's uh uh moderate rating the amount of calories you're consuming, right? So when you fast, your body is forced to pull from other energy and resources from others, ask other places in yeah. the body, right? And so what is it gonna do? Um, it's gonna start pulling from your stomach. It's gonna start pulling from under your arm, in your cheeks, on your thighs. It's gonna start using that excess calories that it's been storing because it doesn't have anything else in there, right? I think everybody, especially that's one of my key, one of my top secrets, right? People think it's trend and it's steroids. It's not. It's intermittent fasting, guys. That's it. When right do now. I fast? Like, okay, yeah. when is it like a different fasting based on what you're doing? So if I want to build muscle, do I fast at a certain time? If I want to lose weight, do I? Like, when is the best? Like, I want to start fasting to, right now. What do I do? Right now, what I would recommend, I I, I think it's, it's, it's just personal preference and when it fits best in your schedule, right? I, I, I don't think... Because everybody's body is different. Everybody's body is going to process and, and, and release different hormones when they're going through their fast. There's no set play that's going to tell you when. This is exactly when you should fast, Joe. No, that's a lie. I think you should look at your schedule and look at who you are and then implement it there. What I will say is you need at least four to eight hours fast. For me, what I do is I do it in the morning. So from the time I wake up, I actually don't consume any solid foods until one o'clock PM. I like that as well, because you've already got the night, the advantage of the whole night sleep. And, and I find I'm not as hungry in the morning. Like I'm doing it today. I actually started today and it's lunch and I'm, I'm still okay. Yeah. And then also when you're waking up, it's your metabolism is being kicking, it's starting, right? It's going into overdrive. So as you are going through your fast in the morning and you 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 don't have no 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 solid foods in there, your body is gonna start is really gonna be searching for energy source, which is gonna start breaking all these things down, man. All the places that you don't want it to be, it's gonna start pulling from there to keep you get you through there. Now, what I would say is double down on there, because if you're trying to build muscle, right? Yeah. So what I do, I might I I I enhanced it. I drink my shake, right? So what I when I wake up, 
I'm not. I don't eat any solid food. Usually, Star I go, Starbucks, Starbucks frappe latte shake full of sugar. I'm just joking. Oh no, no, not that, not that. <laughs> I'm just playing around. Go ahead. I was gonna say, yeah, you you might as well just go eat a, yeah, a, a, milk a, a huge meal at that McDonald's point. milkshake. <laughs> but, it's a different shake, everybody. It's not the shake you're thinking of. Protein shake, guys. Protein shake. Listen, right, wake up. Wake up. My schedule is: I soon I wake up, I go for my run, usually three to five miles, depending on how I feel that day. Come back in, um, come back in. I make the pro- the protein shake, and that for me, I'm consuming like 4,500 calories every single day because uh, I'm a bit, I'm six four, 245 pounds. So I need, and that's my me- my maintenance uh, 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 consumption right there. So I'm gonna make my shake, and it's gonna consist of 2,000 calories. And the reason I'm drinking it, I'm drinking it over a, a period of time, and I'm not just uh, a lot of people that make their shake and they just bah, 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 they, they, and then 30 minutes later they're on the toilet shitting everything out right yeah. so i drink it i i, I slow consume consume it so that my body is literally putting it to work doing that doing that facet time right it's putting it to work doing that time and is and, and it's also pulling from all the other stuff and i've been using this method to maintain eight percent body fat throughout the whole year Wow. And I'm still, I still have enough energy. I'm still performing, uh, and then also going through the day because you know that's not enough for you to really feel full. So you're still, you're, you're, you still get the sensation of hunger, and that just, it just kicks drop, it kicks start your drive. Like you walk, I, I walk in the room, and I, in any room, I'm the hungriest person in there. I'm gonna right. get what I need. Right, I'm getting it. I walk in there, everybody, oh, we talking this, we talking. I'm like, yo, listen, I'm hungry as hell right now. Let's get to the point. <laughs> yeah. You know? But intermittent fasting is is phenomenal, especially in your weight loss journey. I think everybody should do it. Me personally, I do it in the morning. Um, and then I, I enhance it with my protein shake too. So as soon as you drink that protein shake over a, a four hour period, your body actually is breaking everything down and using it and putting it to work. And then pulling from all the reserves as well, and that leads you to just pack on mass and still maintain your lean cut. Awesome, that's amazing. Yeah, a couple items on your in your protein shake, just real quick, if you don't mind. A couple. So I, I got oats, I got berries for you know oats for the fiber, berries for the antioxidants. Um, I got the protein because you need that. You know that's yeah. the building block of muscles and just maintaining your body. Uh, and then I put honey because you know, like I said, I have a little bit of sweet tooth, so yeah. I put that in there too, just to sweeten it up a little bit. But it's it's a healthier choice. Um, and then what else do I put? I think that's it. That's usually it. I'm gonna make one now. <laughs> and bananas too. Bananas, whatever you whatever you your body is lacking on, you can put that in the shake, blend it up. And consume that. I like to like my diet is very balanced, man. Every I literally eat strictly for nutrients, and I give my I try to just feed my body all the nutrients that it need. So my shake is going to consist of everything I need to just perform and have. have you seen, energy. Have you seen Rocky Four? Right? No, I have not. Oh, you got to watch Rocky movies. You got Rocky Four is uh, Dolph Lundgren in that movie. He, they they call him the most perfectly trained athlete in the world. So it's like you've optimized your body to get to that max level. But mind you, he was juicing. But that's that's, that's something different. But <laughs> I, 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 that's a, that's another optimization method right there too. But yeah, but, uh, but I'm a big Rocky fan, so I grew up on those movies. So it's like I, I remember the one the Russian guy said he's the most perfectly trained athlete. I can't do the accent. Perfectly trained athlete in the world. And I'm like, yeah. So I look at you. I'm like, you look like one of the most perfectly trained athletes in the world. And diet is a big part of it. Yeah, 100 percent, guys. If you put shit fuel in your body, you're gonna perform shit. You know, if you put great good fuel in there, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna run the way it needs to run. And anybody can optimize their body, man. I'm telling you, everybody can do this. It's just yeah. a matter of if it's important to you. I'm motivated yeah. now. I'm, I'm driven now to do this. After this conversation, I can't uh, I can't do any more fast food for a while, you know? No, nah, cut that out. The fast food industry is literally destroying the America. Really, I it really it. is. I limit it a couple times a week, but, uh, you know, sometimes the kids want something. You know, I, I'm trying to really limit it, you know, but, but yeah, I'm trying to cut it out completely. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't even recall the last time I ate McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't done it. In, I'm saying probably like six, seven, seven sure. years, probably. 
I don't think you're missing out much. Not the greatest. No, I you feel like garbage good. after you eat that stuff anyway. It, and it, there's so many other alternatives too. Like if people were just like more intentional and just plan out their day a little bit more and you wouldn't need, cause a lot of the times people fall back is when they, when they, when they're going through their diet or whatever, and then they're, they're hungry, they're driving and they don't have the discipline to develop yet. And they see the big McDonald's sign because McDonald's is so phenomenal when it comes to marketing and you know, yeah. man, let me, a fries won't hurt. And then they go in there and they get a big Mac or shake and two times whatever they thought they were going to go get right but if you just plan accordingly and have like healthy snacks like for me especially with my fast i got pistachios in my car right now as we speak yeah whenever i'm going and i'm i'm getting i'm getting hit with those with that with that urge grab some pistachios grab some almonds pound it down I got some gummy i got some gummy bears low sugar gummy bears in my car <laughs> <laughs> I got to swap those out, man. That's, this is what I mean. Like I work out every day. I'm in okay shape, but I know that I could be in such better shape if I stop with this BS. Yeah, you really can. It just got to be, is it important though? Is it important yet? Yeah, it's very important. Obviously. There you go. Like I said, I'm, I'm average. I'm above, I'm slightly above average physically. I'd want to get to that peak level. Almost, almost Ruben style. Almost Ruben style. And you got it though. Especially after this, get yeah. rid of the gummy bears. I was going to ship some over to you so you could try them. They're the low sugar gummy bears. Mm. <laughs> you're not having any of that. All right, man. Ruben, it was a pleasure, man. Thank you for coming on and uh, we'll get this out to everybody and hopefully we could change some lives. Awesome, man. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. You have a great day, brother. Thank you. We'll talk soon, guys. Subscribe. Go home. Go home.